Hmm. What am I going to play? everyone and welcome to Game Club. Now to try and keep things interesting for the end of this second season I've decided to um, play a classic game called Thunder Road which is basically a version of Mad Max 2 or Mad Max 3 which is in itself a version of Mad Max 2 which anyway I'll just probably keep repeating that because it just makes you laugh. This is a classic game um, and uh, it's from my childhood in fact this my mother bought for me many many moons ago and I always love this game um, but I'll basically take you through a quick playthrough and then also I'll uh, just give you a review and an unboxing so you can see it although it's obviously been unboxed many times before but join me as I play and review Thunder Road. Right let me start by unboxing Thunder Road the classic game which is basically a rip-off of Mad Max 2 and ostensibly Mad Max 3 which is uh, well, basically just a rip-off of Mad Max 2 to be fair. Uh, here we go so there's the board you've got these lovely car place on boards where it shows where all of the pieces go and then you've got the attachable second board there as well to continue it and you can continue on and on and on which is wonderful. Now inside this this is quite old, this is my one from when I was a kid. You've got the little cars here which I've kept separate and there's three color, uh, four colours, sorry. Red, brown, green and uh, grey. Uh, my little MB Games brochure as well which I've kept. Uh, we've got my dice from here. Uh, then we've got the instructions, it's a very simple game. Uh, then we've got the four uh, buggies. We've got the, the lovely lush smashed cars, destroyed cars, which all should be over here. All being a bit pedantic there, Simon, but anyway. You've got your choppers. You know who's seen the original Mad Max will remember the choppers very well. Uh, sorry, the second Mad Max. And then, of course, these wonderful bullets. I call them the bullet uh, trains, but they, they have a fancy name, um, which I'm not quite sure what it is in, in the game. I think it it's a uh, coloured body chassis. It does, well, it doesn't actually say. It's a rank six cars, as they're called, apparently. So, very good. Anyway, um, I will give you a review of this game um, and probably even a little playthrough. I'll play it on my own and show you how it's played. Um, this is Thunder Road. Hello Game Clubbers and welcome to this playthrough for Thunder Road. This is the uh, final episode of the second series and it's going to be me playing in the green team versus this man. Hello, it's me, Cracko, and I'll be playing as the red team. And I will win because, personally, I'm brilliant. George, get me a Coke, please. Yes, that's right, Cracko is back. Oh, Anyway, before um, we continue that, I'm just going to quickly show you the, the board and how it's set up. So as you can see here, we've got our uh, crashed cars, and we've got our um, sort of wrecks, I guess they're called there. And there's the two panels together. Um, and then we have our rank 6 cars at the back there, which are the big kind of uh, turbocharged rocket cars. I think if you've ever seen the film um, Mad Max, I keep mentioning Mad Max because it's so relevant to this, then basically that's where they are. They, they look like this here. These are the uh, rank 6s. We've got rank 4 cars, which are the ones here, which are basically dune buggies. Uh, and then we have, I believe these are called the rank 5 cars, which are basically like the muscle cars or, or they actually look like the, um, the old school police cars uh, and I'll just put that down so we can see as we move but basically what we're doing is me and Quacker will be playing it um, against each other now just to note as well we do have choppers as well uh, which I think I've uh, obviously always kept off the board uh, at the start of the game uh, right these are the three dice which are well actually it should be three yellow dice but I think I lost one of the dice many years ago so now it's just a white dice but they're the movement dice and then if you stay, if you see this black line here, that's basically the main road. If you stay on that, you get this bonus dice. Uh, and then, of course, you get your combat dice as well, which are both red as well. Now, I'll be explaining the rules as we go along. And obviously, I'll be using the old notebook. He will be, yes. I'll make sure that he's kept correct because, you know, the problem with him is he likes to cheat a lot. Thank you, Quacko. Thank you. Um, George! Okay, Quacko. No more calling of poor George. 
Right, so join us um, as we play now. Right, let's get on with it. And I'm going to start by basically rolling. Uh, uh, I'll go first, I think. No, we should both roll. Okay, then let's both roll. So, Cracker, you roll one dice. Okay. I got a four, and I got a one. So, Quacko goes first. Brilliant. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, Quack, is we're going to play three rounds, and hopefully one of us will, will have a win. So, basically, your first turn, throw the three yellow dice. So, you've got... There you go. Okay, so then what you've got to do is you've got to choose your three vehicles. So, you are playing as the red team. You've got to choose the three vehicles, and you've got to move them. Now, to move them... Uh, you may move directly forward or diagonally forward to the right or left but you're not allowed to move backwards okay so uh would you mind um doing that with your hand yes okay uh that one first yes okay so let's do one for that so i want to move that diagonally uh, across thank you uh then the other two are going to go going to move four that one uh yes onto the road yep one two three and four very good okay so i get the bonus do i uh, let's do that afterwards. Okay. And the other one, the, the muscle, the big one, yes. Uh, whoa, no, forward. One, two, three, and then four. That's enough. Thank you. Yes, okay. So, yep, yeah, so brilliant. And uh, the black road, if any of your cars are on the road at the start of your turn, no, so it's the next turn. Okay. Move faster by throwing the black dice. Um, uh, you must drive on the road only. Okay, that's fine. Now you can crash through a wreck uh, if after throwing the other dice you find that your way is blocked by a black wreck on an opponent's wrecked car, throw one red dice. Uh, if you throw four, five or six you may land on the same space as the wreck or pass through it. If you throw one, two, three, you your car becomes a wreck. Interesting. So there we go. Right, then we move on to, oh sorry it's my go, so I'm going to roll my dice now. And I got four, two and one. So I'll move my green car, I'm going to move this. Um, one, two, three, four. <coughs> this two, one, two, and this just a single one. Okay. So, okay, right. And um, what happens now? Okay, sorry, yep. <coughs> so, from your second and all following turns, throw the dice and move as described. Attack and try to wreck opponent's cars. You can make as many attacks as possible on each turn, but each of your cars can attack only once on a turn. Yeah, I remember this, because you ram each other. Oh, right, sounds delightful. <laughs> Great, okay. Yes, um, how do we How do we exactly attack? Yeah, so basically, um, your car lands exactly on an opponent's car. You and your opponent each throw a red dice. You each add the number to your throw to your car's rank. The player with the highest total wins. Okay, right, sounds completely crazy. You can do a shooting attack as well. When you land on one space behind one of or more of your opponents, announce uh, which car you are aiming at. If two are, are sharing a space, you can you should choose one as a target. You throw one red die, and then we'll go for we'll basically go for that because the, the chopper attacks <clears throat> your chopper may attack once on the rear board, once on the lead board, and once on every new board. Okay, right. So after moving your car and attacking with. Uh, then you may, if you wish, fly your chopper up to the car. You now wish to attack. Okay, so let's let's do that. Right. So basically, uh, you can do repairs as well, uh, but we'll we'll come to that. Oh, okay. Right. Shall can I roll? Yeah. Oh damn. Oh. Right. Oh, good roll. Five, four, and a one. Okay. Uh, what about the? Oh, don't go. <laughs> and I get a one bonus as well for the red. Yes, that's right. So moving one. Yeah, very good. And then I'll move him another one. Okay, so two, right, fine, yep. Yeah. Uh, five, I'll move the big car, the muscle, the big one. That's it, yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, yes. Straight through. <laughs> Great, okay, so we then, we now basically hit each other. Uh, so you've ramming attack. When your, your car lands on an, an opponent's thing, which is what yours did, um, you each roll, so you've got to roll and I roll, so I rolled four and you rolled two. So uh, you each add the number to your car's rank. So my car rank is, what's that, rank three, rank four, so I got six, and yours is a rank six and you got ten. Oh dear. <laughs> I think maybe I beat you. <laughs> Sorry. The player with the highest total wins. If you win, your opponent's car becomes a wreck. Oh dear. 
Thanks, Quacks. You're most welcome. Anyway, next. Uh, yeah, so then you've got to move, uh, I think your June buggy, you've got to move in four. One, two, three. Uh, oh, well, can I go diagonally onto the road? There you go, four. Very good. Okay. My go now. Right, so I'll roll this black dice. One, now I'll move there, and then I'm going to roll my three dice. And, oh, six, one, and two. Uh, I just realized one of my cars is out. Yes, of course. Very good. <laughs> uh, so I'll move this six. One, two, three. Oh, wait there, he gets, oh, I've just realized I get another black as well. So there's a one, and then move one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll move this one, two, one, crash into him. Oh, well, thank you very much. Ah, there, I'll take that and stop talking. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, right, one sec, one sec, they are rank, what rank are they, what rank are they, what rank are they? Oh no, they're rank four, they? Rank five, rank five, right. Okay, ready? So I got, oh, I got 11. Oh, you got rank, oh, no, you got rank 10. No, 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 that's not fair, no. <laughs> Human scum. Oh, charming. Sorry, I'm very angry. Uh, anyway, right, okay, so now we will go to, I want a helicopter. Sorry, I want a helicopter, you. You want to chopper attack me, okay. Your choppers may attack once on the rear board, once on the lead board, and once on every new lead board in that order. After moving your cars and attacking with them, you, you may, if you wish, uh, fly your chopper up to the car. Uh, if there are two cars on one space, announce which you are attacking. Um, I'm going to attack the green one. The, the, this one. That one. Yes, that one. That's it. Right. Uh, you throw one red dice. If your number you throw matches or is higher than the car's rank, the car becomes a wreck. So you need to get five or six. Oh. Damn it. Oh well. You lose, sucker. My go. Um, so you've got that. Red one, this is the last round. Two, uh, forward. No, 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 one sec, I want to, uh, yes, all right, forward two. One, two, very good, very good. And then you've got your three here, or two. One and six. Okay, I want to move that one, the big one, yep, one, four, that's it, thank you. And this one, six. One, yes, two, three, back there, four, yep, five, six, very good. Okay, so right there's your move. Now uh, my moves. Both cars are on there, so I'm going to move this one two, one two, and then I'm going to move that one four. Very good. One two three four, and then oh, I've got three and a one. So I'm going to move that on one, one two three. And then I'm going to attack with my chopper. What? Yeah. So I need six. Oh! <laughs> Loser! Loser! <laughs> Yes, thank you very much, Greg. Right, okay, so switching boards. Okay, so we'll switch, we can switch the boards. Well, I thought you said three rounds. Well, one second, one second. One, two, or three of your cars are wrecked on the board. Always throw the three yellow dice and the black die, if, a, if appropriate, on your turn. If you throw a double six, you can repair any one of your wrecked cars still on the board. You can then move it and any other running cars using all the dice as you would on a normal turn. No. Oh. Winning game. As soon as your last car is dumped, you're out of the game. Oh. Okay, so um, do you want to go for one more round? Okay, final round, final round. Right, so you've got you've got one on there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Funny though. One, two, very good. And then you're gonna throw all three. Uh, double six, and you respawn. Oh, four, one, and one. Uh, move the red one, buggy one. Okay, people can't see that though. Well, I'll move the other one four. One, uh, can I move to the U? Okay, towards me, yep. Two, and again, three, and one more. Oh, I see, four, very good. <laughs> I think I'm going to win. Right, so you are rank six, and I'm a rank five. So I roll one. Hey, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Crashed, boom. <laughs> Hoping I get a double. Yeah, let's hope you do, we're gonna double, double trouble. <laughs> right, so one, and then, oh, that one's a 
ones they've gone oh dear well I'll roll these a five and a three and then I will pick up the other dice and we'll see yes he will so one sec, I'm trying to see one sec, one, two, three, four, five, I can't reach you, so, and, oh, I can't reach you anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh no, I can get close to shoot you, but I won't be able to actually, oh well, congratulations, Cracks, you won, yes, congratulations, well done, thank you, thank you. So, the take home from Thunder Road is that games that are based on films that actually say that they're not based on films but actually are based on films and good films of that rate can still make great games that are individual and separate from that particular film or inspiration. Thunder Road is a classic. Literally it's a clever very simple race game but it's also a warring battling game that has a great function within it which is that you basically roll move and that you plot and plan simply fighting. There is no other logic behind that than simply fighting. So your plot and planning is, I'm going to fight someone, I have to fight someone. My plan is, I've got to avoid cars and trash to cars on the, on the road and keep moving. And that's the brilliance of it. It may not be a very long, substantial game, but sometimes these are the sort of games that I call palate cleansers. They clear you of having to play those big complex games, those big sort of thinking games like Agricola or uh, let's say um, Terraforming Mars or all those sort of games where you have to really commit time and energy to it. This is a game where you don't commit much uh, energy, you commit a very small amount of time, but you still enjoy the outcome, you still enjoy the results. It's frankly brilliant. And I know it's not available now, but I think it's one of those games that still deserves respect still deserves a level of acknowledgement and if you can buy it if you have like me got it somewhere then basically play it because it's that good so for the end of the second season i know it's been a short season but that's thanks to the coronavirus we have the brilliant thunder road so that was thunder road i'm simon and this was game club <laughs>